What was supposed to pass for journalism in the interviews with Deputy Prime Minister Dominic Raab and Tory MP Mark Francois was frankly abysmal. But with the new Brexit deal over Northern Ireland potentially coming out tomorrow, let me just say what Sophie Ridge should have said. We know that the Northern Ireland Protocol uh, has created real challenges uh, for businesses across all communities in Northern Ireland. It's posing a challenge to the Good Friday Agreement and in fact the integrity of the UK. Well the Northern Ireland Protocol is part of the Brexit deal and the Brexit deal is literally Brexit. It's our new relationship with the EU. So when he's saying that, what he's really saying is Brexit is causing problems for businesses across Northern Ireland. Brexit is undermining the Good Friday Agreement. Brexit is challenging the very integrity of the United Kingdom. You, you and I have been discussing Brexit for years now. Yeah, and, uh... Any decent journalist at that point would point out that they won their election on a promise to get Brexit done so we could move on. Especially when other parties, namely the parties that the majority of people actually voted for, were offering a second referendum on that deal. And given that the DUP, who represent a significant part of the Brexit voting population, opposed Boris Johnson's deal back then, and clearly still oppose it now, and even Nigel Farage said that given a choice between staying in the EU and Boris Johnson's deal, Remain wins that referendum or wins it every single time. We would have been done with Brexit literally years ago if not for the Tories. Basically, there are new EU rules that there should be a way for Northern Ireland to have its say, in a way, over rules that can affect them. Well, that must be right in any democratic arrangement. Let's park the fact that in order for Northern Ireland to have any meaningful say over the laws of the EU single market, they would need to be voting in the European Parliament and therefore an EU member. And focus on the fact that whatever Rishi Sunak negotiates, Northern Ireland will have less of a say over the EU laws that are imposed on it than it did before Brexit. So you're imposing a Brexit on Northern Ireland that does the exact opposite of the taking back control that you promised the rest of the UK, knowing that Northern Ireland specifically voted against Brexit. But look, we know how this ends. Ask Theresa May. You can think you've got a great deal, well, but see. if the DUP don't come on side, well, let, let's see, Mike's is Rishi Sunak been living under a cave? You know? It's the faux journalism for me because it looks like she's really laying into Rishi Sunak, but over what? Not playing the Westminster game well enough? Northern Ireland hasn't had a government for months. There have been actual terrorist attacks citing Brexit as the motivation. And the economy's fucked. And that's the best criticism you can lay against him? We don't know what is in this deal. We haven't seen the legal text. Why does that matter? Because if you're talking about altering protocols or treaties, that always comes down to a definitive legal text. What MP worth their salt would vote for something without having read it? He just said, what MP worth their salt would vote for something without having read it? So what you're saying is, it would be irresponsible to support a new relationship with the EU until you know the full legal treaty that it involves. Where was that energy in the three years after the EU referendum result, when literally hundreds of thousands of people were taken to the streets saying that we needed to be able to vote on the new EU treaty after it had been negotiated. Both of those interviews played like archive footage from 2018 as if the Tories hadn't won an election on a promise to get Brexit done so we could be done with all of this. And yet Sophie Ridge didn't push back on that basis at all. I mean, call me crazy, but maybe, maybe, if it's literally the title of your manifesto, political journalists are supposed to hold politicians to account on that basis.